Hey, what's up guys? Um, Dan here, Elk Shit YouTube. Just gonna do a quick video. Uh, today's November 2nd. And what we have in front of us is the new RX3 from Hoyt. So I figured I'll go ahead and unbox it here and show you guys and bring you along as we open her up. new lid. That's pretty sweet. Comes with a bow case. From Redworks. That'll work. Now, ooh, that is light. Alpine. How sweet is this? Pretty excited. So I usually go right to the specs just to kind of double check, make sure what I ordered. 70 to 80 pound limbs. Check. It gives you options for the cam based on your draw length. So I'm at 27. So I'll be at E. Right now we're set at F. So I'll have to make an adjustment there. It's super light. It's three independent tubes. Carbon is so strong. Uh, I think once you try carbon over aluminum, especially as bow hunters late season, like in November, you'll see the benefits. I love the weight that it saves. It's not a ton of weight. I know that, but it's just every little bit kind of adds up. Uh, it's definitely, look how wide and sturdy it is compared to the other bows that they've made in the past. So start with this limb pocket system. Uh, it's very robust. You can see it's just wider than normal. Um, and I'm not a bow expert, so don't even act like I, like uh, I can just show you a couple things that I've learned. Is that this, it's got a new roller system. that's super short. It's a whole new system there. You can screw your sight directly into the riser. There's not a plate there. There is a split cable system for the harness down here. ZT Pro cams. Oh man, these are new. I've, I gotta watch the video, but basically, it looks like it's a, a way to quiet out the bow. Supposedly, they're quietest bow ever, which is awesome, reducing like the hand shock. And then, obviously, they have a patent pending on the grip here. If you take these two, uh, just this one screw out, you can adjust laterally just based on how you grip a bow, where you contact it. You can move it left or right, so you can lab not a lot, but just a little bit, a little, which is cool. I think it will probably help, and I'll have to get with my pro shop and and uh, mess with that and see where I'm going to end up. You can see that the main thing is like the limb pocket system. It's just much more stout the way they set the tubes up, and still, you know, if you if you're hard on bows like I am, you need this to just to be bulletproof, and I think it is. So this is obviously the 30 inch. Um, 80 pounds, 70 to 80 pound limbs, 27 draw. Pretty excited. I want to show you guys, do a little unboxing. I'm going to learn more about this bow, so I don't want to act like I know everything. I know another thing I guess I remember is like this stealth shot is a new material. It's also shaped a little bit different, but it's just a quieter material. I really think the focus this year was to quiet down the bow and I think they did that. We'll find out once we start shooting it. I can't wait to shoot it, but put some arrows through this guy and get it set up for late season uh, deer. 